All right, y'all, what's happening? It's me, David Griffin. Let's make a shrimp po' boy today. But if you're here for the first time, subscribe now. We got new recipes dropping every week. You can also check out some of my other cooking videos. I know you ain't gonna wanna miss that. Today, we're doing a shrimp po' boy. It's a real easy recipe, not the most complex, born out of necessity, but now it's a luxury item, y'all. For this recipe, you're gonna need some French bread, you're gonna need some shrimp, you're gonna need an egg, accent, seasoning salt, garlic powder, paprika, chili powder, cornstarch, all-purpose flour, cooking oil, a skillet or a deep fry pot, cabbage, carrot, and some coleslaw dressing. Not that hard, but let's go ahead and get in there. First, you're gonna take your cabbage, okay? Because we're gonna make our coleslaw first. You're gonna slice that cabbage up real thin. Make sure you core it. You don't wanna have your core in your coleslaw, okay? It's a little bit too hard, okay? The leafier edges are better off. As you can see, we cut that cabbage up real small. Now we're taking care of our carrots. Not that much, see? Go and go ahead and give that cabbage that's gonna become coleslaw a little good rinse. Almost done. Coleslaw dressing, right? Go pour a little on there. You can use as much as you like, and it doesn't matter which kind of cabbage you use. We're gonna chill that for a good half hour. We're gonna take a shrimp and make sure we don't have no eggshell in there, right? We drop an egg in there. Then we're gonna go ahead and give that a good mix. You see that? There go that hand mixer again. These shrimp, they already snipped the tips off them, the heads and the tips, okay? They already peeled and veined it for you, so it makes it easy. Then we take and just drop a little seasoning salt on there. Drop a little garlic powder on there. Now we're gonna hit it with some accent. Accent is one of the best seasonings in the world. Some people say it's the worst, but hey, it's never been bad for me. A must. We drop some chili powder on that. You gotta do that. A little paprika. You see, those are all bringing spices to the table. Look at this. Now we just give it a good mix. We make sure our shrimp is dry before we do all this. We begin this whole process, y'all. Now we're gonna mix our flour and cornstarch together and some seasoning salt, black pepper, and accent. We got our seasoned flour, and then we drop our shrimp that's already been seasoned and mixed, and we start to mix it up, you see? Look at this, we are almost done with this recipe already, y'all. This is something you could do for lunchtime and have it ready for the whole house. Look at that. Now, we're gonna get us a skillet or a deep frying pot. In this case, I always use my Dutch ovens to fry in. Why? Cast iron. Look at that, we just drop it on in there in that oil. We're real good right now. Guess how long this takes to fry? Three little baby sized minutes. Three little minutes, that's all it takes. Look at this. Second benefit of using cast iron and when you're deep frying is the deep frying of the oil and the heat, it helps your pot. But look, we're already done. See, I told you this was a short, easy recipe. Look at that, we're already done. Look at those beautiful golden critters. You gotta eat those. Let's plate that up. Oh yeah. Look at that, look how simple that was. We got some accoutrements over there, some tomatoes and some pickle. Now when you get your bread, your baguette, you go ahead and take a little of the insides out like X did. You go ahead and put a little coleslaw in there. You put some tomatoes in there. Now, when you're dealing with a po' boy sandwich, if it looks all pretty and fancy and not sloppy, there's something wrong with you. You need it to look disgusting. It's gotta look overdone. Look at this. No, don't say that's too much shrimp. That's the perfect one. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at it. There you go, Alex. You show them how to make a sandwich. Man, look at that. You see that red rooster behind me? Yeah, drop some of that. Need that on the side. X. Let them know how it tastes though. Yeah. That's what's up. That's a pole boy. That's a real pole boy. We make them out here on the west coast too. See? 
Look at that monster bite. You know what's good when you eat like that, right? The boy asked for another one. Right? Hey, that's how you make a pull boy. Subscribe now, y'all. New recipes dropping every week. Check out some of my other cooking videos, too. I'm sure you're going to learn something, y'all. Thanks for watching. This is David Griffin Cooks. I'm out.